Welcome to beautiful Sweden. It's really sunny and you won't say that we're on the north of the Arctic Circle. We're on the Kungsleden. We are hiking this beautiful trail in the middle of September and we can already see the fall colors. We are expecting really cold nights, really low temperatures and lots of adventure. Yes, and well, let's show you what we're bring on our trip. My name is Dane. And I'm Alette from Hikeaholics and this is our packlist for the Kungsleden. So let's start what I'm wearing on the trail. My go-to shoes, my Ultra Lone Peak 6, absolutely love them. My Inchinji socks, I have two pair. One I'm wearing and one is in my bag. Bamboo boxers. And this is my Solomon shorts. And the one I have right now are my Patagonia long pants. My Arteryx hoodie. <laughs> I wear this instead of a fleece because it is windproof and I absolutely love this jacket. And then for the really, really cold days, I have a beanie from Acterix. I have my icebreaker liner gloves. And one thing that is new inside my bag is my Cumulus puff jacket. Absolutely love it. Really, really warm down jacket. It packs really small and it's very light as well. Then the clothes I wear at camp. Cheap ass flip flops from the supermarket. Warm socks, base layer from Icebreaker, bottoms and tops. And I keep all of that in a um, waterproof bag. For toiletries, we will go over there. Oh. Just a very light towel and all the basic necessities like a toothbrush, toothpaste, etc. And on top of here is my rain gear. Frog dogs, jacket and pants, very, very light. It doesn't win an award for beauty, but it does the job. Waterproof socks. Like I said in my Tour de Mont Blanc pack list, absolutely love this in combination with the Lone Peaks. If it's rainy outside, I wear these in combination with the Lone Peaks. My feet stay dry and the Lone Peaks dry very quick. And something that is new in my bag is the Salomon Rain Mittens. Windproof and they keep the rain off, very light. Absolutely love them as well. And of course, what I'm wearing right now, this is my Patagonia. It's a merino wool shirt. I have one and I only use one shirt. Patagonia, pants as well. And my Oakley sunglasses. And on top, rip go ahead, very easy. So now it's time for me to explain what I'm wearing during this trail. Uh, what I'm wearing while hiking is this icebreaker merino wool shirt, a sports bra, a leggings from Revolution Race. It's actually a new leggings. It has padded knees, ankles and a bottom and so far I absolutely love it. And um, I have undies from Icebreaker as well. So what I'm not wearing right now but what I wear on the trail are my Ultra Lone Peak 6. I have two pair of Injinji socks. One that I'm wearing on the trail and one that's just the clean ones. Um, I have an extra pair of undies with me a short and when it's a little bit colder i have an arcteryx uh, jacket that's instead of a fleece jacket i love this way more than a fleece jacket because it's also windproof and it keeps a little bit of rain out and when it's super super cold i have a cumulus jacket that's actually a new jacket can't recommend it enough it's super warm it's down it's absolutely amazing and right there are my icebreaker liner gloves as well and also what I'm wearing on my head is a sort of fleece <laughs> headband. And for Sweden, a big tip, if you go here and it's not September, but it's earlier, bring a mosquito net. We have it with us, haven't used it yet, but I would definitely recommend it. So now let's go over to the section that I'll wear during the night. I have one pair of darn top socks, they're a bit warmer. And I have a wrap base layer bottom that are leggings. I have another icebreaker merino wool shirt that's long sleeves. And I put it in a bag, a Sea to Summit bag. So over there are a few essentials. That's my towel. I have my toiletry bag, which includes uh, some elastics, toothbrush, stuff like that, some sunscreen. I have my brush with me, my Oakley sunglasses and some amazing fashionable flip-flops from the supermarket but they're really handy for on camp
The backpack I'm carrying is the Bach Molecule. It's a 50 liter backpack. It's not waterproof, but it is very light. I think around 900 grams. Absolutely love it so far. And this is the backpack Alette is carrying. It's the Bach Daydream 50, also a 50 liter backpack. It has multiple compartments and in the bottom compartment we store our tent. And here she stores the regular things and on top the rain gear. And we also share the trekking poles. I wear carry one and Alette carries one as well. Now let's go to the tent we are using. This is the Bach Wikiup tree. It's a nice TP, nice and soothing for this environment in Sweden. It's a three person tent. We are with two people, but we actually really like that it is more spacious. It's not the lightest tent, it's two kilos, but we sp split the weight with the, with the tent packs and with the pole in the middle. Now let's go inside and you'll see where we sleep in. Welcome inside our beautiful tent. Let's go over our sleeping system. All the way at the bottom, you see a biffy. We use that for the heat reflection. It keeps you a little bit more warm. And if it's really cold and damp outside, we can wear these outside of our sleeping bags. So the moisture can get in your down sleeping bag. On top of that, we have thermal rest, the Neo Air sleeping mats. We absolutely love them. We bring them on all our trips, very light and very easy to bring with you. Very packable. Then, we both have a pillow, an expat ram pillow. We love, we love to bring a pillow. Yeah, I can't say more about it actually. And inside the sleeping bag is a sleeping bag liner. We both have them, both the same, so I won't show you mine. And this is a letter sleeping bag. This is the Cumulus Taniqua 700. It's a winter sleeping bag and it is very warm. It's September now and you really need it in the cold nights here. Aletta has been really warm and cozy every night so far. And on my side is the Cumulus as well, Panyam 600, a little bit less warm than Aletta's. These are the perfect sleeping bags for this trip. We haven't had it cold one night. So and here's the other stuff we bring on the trail as well. Let's start with the cooking system. We both have a food bag with us, filled with the food for several days. We have a small and a medium cup that are foldable. We both have a spork and we have an MSR pocket rocket. That's a really small one. Let me show it to you. You can fold it out and you can cook your water on it. And combined with that we have a tox titanium pan in which we have a little towel if we want to do the dishes and a gas canister and behind it it's not fashionable but <laughs> we have a trash bag because you have to bring all the stuff back at home leave no trace because you want this wilderness to stay the wilderness and what we also bring are our ass pads they're from Thermarest, they officially called the sea seat. During the day we use it to sit on and during the night we put it underneath our sleeping pads for extra cushioning on your hips. And this is our water system. Dane has the Ketadine B3 filter, that's a 1 liter. And I have the Soria Squeeze with me. And what I bring with my Soria Squeeze is an extra plastic bag because they're really sensitive for frost. So during the nights, I put it in my plastic bag together with myself in my sleeping bag so it won't freeze. And now go over from the cooking system to the pooping system. Yes, we do it on the trail. It's necessary for a human to go. So what we have is toilet paper. We have a trowel. And for me, I have my Kula cloth. That's like reusable toilet paper. It's really handy because that way you don't have to bring as much toilet paper as um, usual. So I really love this. It's also eco-friendly. And all the way here we have some other items. Like the maps from this section. And here we have also headlamps. Um, a thing that's Really handy is our Garmin InReach because there is absolutely no cell phone receptions during the whole trail. This is the only place where we have signal. So that way you can send or an SOS or like a message to your family that you're okay. And we also have our passports 
And we also have our first aid kit with all the essentials. And let me reach out for it. We also have our chargers and adapters for our phones and a power bank because there are almost no charging points so if you need your phone to be charged for maps or whatever bring an extra power bank so you're sure your phone is fully charged. So this was everything we brought for our Kong Slater trip this September as a hiking couple. If you have any questions please DM us, send us a message on YouTube, on Instagram. And if this all went too fast, in the description box below you can find all the items with the links to the products which we showed you here. And definitely make sure to check our vlogging series out. We make a beautiful documentary video about the uh, Koensleden as well. And make sure to like our video. It really helps us a lot to grow our channel. Make sure to subscribe. And if you're all the way to the end, please leave a sweetest flag in the comments so we know you watched the whole video with us.